Hey everyone, Michael here with Hello Cupcake, it's me. Today is November 26, 2022, and how are you? If you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe, and then head on over to anchor.fm slash Hello Cupcake, it's me, to join in the podcast, and head on over to www.hellocupcakeitsme.com to give the blog some love also. Um, so yeah, it has been a very long couple of days since we last talked to each other here. Um, so Wednesday I had a bunch of smoke in the air from burning my sage and um, because I had a little sniffles going on. Well, I still got the sniffles, so you might hear me being a little bit nasally or whatever. And I have gone through the gambit over the last couple of days of just having to deal with trying to get seen at my doctor's office. And I know I went off a little bit about it the other day, but let me tell you, man, it has just been a roller coaster of a ride. Um, so we, I went over to my sister's house for Thanksgiving and did the whole hooray thing over there. Her boyfriend was sicker than crap. My sister, uh, as of last night was really sick. So, um, I don't know if we have passed it back and forth to each other or what. I haven't called to see if my niece got sick or not. Because her and her boyfriend were there. And um, it was just one of those things that, like, well, you know what, whatever, we're, we're doing this. So, gather around, you get sick, you get sick type of a situation. So, we... So... Anyways, we got we got through that. I got home and I was starting to feel kind of crummy myself. Like I was just that, you know, when you're sick and you get that like tired feeling all over. That's how I started getting. So I came home and I like dosed myself up with a little bit of medicine or and uh, took a nap. And when I woke up, I was just so congested and just foggy. So, uh, for the last couple of days, I have been using tea tree oil and putting that on the end of a Q-tip and, like, swabbing the inside of my nose, and that has been burning like heck. A friend of mine said, do you have a neti pot? And I started thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? I think I do. Like, I had one sent to me years and years and years and years ago and I have no idea where it is and I was like oh wait a minute I think I do remember where it is and I pulled that out and um sure as can be there was my neti pot um still haven't used it but I did use one of the little saline packages that it came with and I have this like really good nose spray stuff that I get at the Dollar Tree so I opened that up and I added one of those packets into that nose spray and closed that all up and like shot it up into my nose. Instantly it cleared my nose. Burnt like hell. Oh my god, this stuff burns. But um Yeah, it cleared everything up and I was able to breathe, didn't have the congested like sinuses or any of that other stuff. So uh I'm going to go get myself some distilled water so that I could use that uh, neti pot. I boiled some, but I also want to like distill, get some distilled some, because uh, I was told that you don't want to use just straight tap water because there's all kinds of crap in there that you don't want up in your sinuses. <laughs> so like, okay, you know that make that makes sense, especially where I know that our municipal water comes from. And God only knows what's in those pipes. So, that's the next round of things that I'm going to be doing. I've also been taking this uh, liquid ionic zinc stuff. It's completely whitewashed on here, but it's ultra ionic zinc concentrate. Uh, nano mineral extract 
technology to boost your immune system, a new 2020 formula. And uh, this was sent to me by some company to do a test run on or whatever, just to see if I liked it or whatever. And I do like it because the bottle's almost empty. So I gotta go get myself some more. The other thing that I had in my hoard that I didn't re remember until just recently was I have a whole bunch of Zycam. And I'm actually going to use some right now because my nose is starting to plug back up. And uh, this is actually pretty cool. I've used Zycam in the past. And... Uh, ew. The fact that the box that I have has 20 individual little hooplas like this was absolutely amazing. Oh. <sighs> has a unique floral scent to it also. And you're only supposed to use this like once I think that's the second time that I've used this particular one. It's supposed to be like a one-and-done type situation, but that seems very wasteful. So, I'm not doing a one-and-done. I'm going to use it a couple, two, three times. And then I'll open up the other one. But the box that I got had like 20 of them, and it was... Uh, I picked it up during the summertime, or about... January, February of this year. So, I always look for medications and stuff like that when they're in the uh, discount rack. Because this box of 20 individual Zycams was normally $15, and I got it for $2.99. So, I don't know. It's just what I do. So, yeah, uh, but... Thanksgiving went off really well without a hitch, and it was nice, very quiet, very kind of fast. I wanted to go uh, do some Black Friday shopping yesterday, but I was just feeling like crap, and it was to the point where I didn't even go to my water aerobics class. I tried to go to my water aerobic class on Wednesday, but it was closed, and uh, so now I have... It's set up, I use Outlook and Windows um, Windows Live Mail. So I have everything all set up. So now if I get a specific email from the YMCA, it goes through a filter system and sends it directly to my phone. And so now I will always have an instant message type system set up. Uh, so then that way I know that I got a message from them and I'm not wasting gas going into town hoping for the best. But yeah, so was really kind of upset that I didn't get to do any of the Black Friday shopping that I wanted to. And it's not the same as like going online and looking at the stuff versus going into a store and looking at the stuff because... A lot of my Black Friday shopping, or shopping in general, is 100% uh, impulse buy. Or I'll see something and be like, oh, so-and-so would really like that. And, you know, that's something that wasn't necessarily on my list or wasn't even advertised, but it happens to be on sale because it's an in-store promotion or whatever else. And so I really wanted to do that. And, you know, I did look at some of the online things like Best Buy, Walmart, Target, and Amazon, <coughs> but not the same. So because today is Shop Small Saturday, I am going to go to some of our local stores and see if there's something that I can pick up for a few people that I have left to do shopping for. I really got to get something for my sister. I need to get a couple, or I want to get something for my niece, and I want to get something for my niece's boyfriend, and my sister's boyfriend, and his dad, and I am done. Uh, so, 
yeah, just a couple of things that I want to pick up for people. And um, like I said, I'm running very low on cash flow right now, but it should work out because I still have, what is it, 29 days until Christmas or something like that. So, or 24 days until Christmas. Yeah, because today is the 26th. So, however it works out, I have... I still have a whole nother month. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I hope you guys had a really great holiday for those of you who celebrate. Even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving and just have a holiday meal, um, I really do hope that you all had a lot of fun and that there wasn't any massive family drama and things like that. And I think next year I'm going to suggest a lottery for our um, Christmas. So where we pick and choose people out of a hat or something like that. And then we go from there. Um, but at the same time, there's only like th really six of us. So I don't think that a lottery is necessary or what have you. But we'll see what happens. So... Uh, looking forward to Monday because I really miss my exercising class and I really want to go and I've missed two days. Even though we were told that we were supposed to be open Wednesday and they ended up not opening up, I still have missed two days and apparently there's three or four new lifeguards that are getting ready to come on so we're going to have the pool open Monday through Friday, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to be doing Monday through Friday. Uh, I'll have to really see how that how that works out because I like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I find myself wanting something to do on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So it might be that even if I don't go swimming that I try to start walking on those days right now we're in the we're in the beginning of our winter season and so it's extremely cold outside or windy or raining or snowing or all the above or we have where we have here in the Pacific Northwest there's days where we have every single type of weather within like a couple of hours of itself so it'll be super bright sunny and warm at 8 a.m by 8 15 it'll be 30 below zero outside with 12 feet of snow by noon we'll have flash floodings by two o'clock we'll have hurricane winds by five o'clock it'll be beautiful and sunny again and then by 7 p.m we have snow with like 35 mile an hour winds so it's like those are washington's bipolar days like today it's cloudy windy thankfully dry and it looks like the sun's trying to come out but i'm not holding my breath because well i'm already short of breath right now so um Anyways, I am going to go ahead and wrap this up because I feel like I am rambling and there's things that I want to get well, that I want to get done. So I will talk to y'all later. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section down below. Uh, make sure you go check out the podcast anchor.fm slash hello cupcake it's me and go check out the blog hello cupcake it's me.com and until next time i will talk to you all later bye guys